and then the head there. We'll see you on the left with the pin. Thanks a lot. What is going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another video and welcome to the Huey at my house we are going to be going doing some grocery shopping today taking the Huey out don't really want to drive today um, because well why why would you if you have a helicopter readily available to you now this actually is not my house here uh, that behind the Huey right there that's my house uh, this is just my neighbor's house that I decided to park my Huey onto uh, because that's what courteous neighbors do. So um, today we'll be doing what I believe is probably some of the most fun flying in DCS that is possible, which is a helicopter and the Mariana Silence map. Uh, probably the most detailed uh, map that we have in DCS and flying around here at low level. It's just, it's sensational. If you haven't done it, you gotta do it. Now, unfortunately, the Huey is not the best machine for the job. Uh, the best machine for the job would be the B0105, uh, maybe something like a MD500 or maybe Bell 206, uh, something a little more nimble, a little smaller, a little, uh, a little more agile. Uh, the Huey is a bit big and cumbersome, but nonetheless, um, today we're going to be taking out on a little route down to the grocery store, picking up some groceries and heading back. So without further ado, I think we should get into it and I'll show you why I believe this is the most fun that you can have in DCS. All right, so let's go on our little milk run then. It's on this route a couple of times, so don't worry. I know where I'm going. Now, like I said, um, the Huey is not really the perfect helicopter for this job right here. Um, should be more like Bell 206. Well, in fact, even something a little more nimble, maybe like a, a Hughes 500. I think that would be absolutely ideal. Um, now, if you're wondering why we're flying so low, well, let's avoid uh, radar detection, right? Um, well, God knows why that would be important heading into a grocery store now as we drop a little level over this little work side here. And just continue our little low level route. Make sure we don't hit any palm trees. So that would be a bad day out. Um, now we're making this very efficient. I mean, I think this car journey would have been at least 20 minutes, but we're just a couple of minutes in the helicopter. Always good to have your own helicopter, especially a Huey. Super useful in life, actually. Um, I'm not actually a helicopter pilot in real life, although I would love to be one. Uh, I think it'd be freaking amazing. One day. One day. Right, let's just concentrate, make sure that we, uh, you know, crash here. So here comes the grocery store. So let's uh, slow it right down, do a little loop, and uh, find a little parking space. Uh, let's get something kind of close to uh, to the shop, to the door, you know, don't want to be walking very far. That was a police car there for some reason with its lights on. How interesting. Find a little spot here, right? There's a palm tree underneath us. Just gonna be nice and careful here. Oh, there's a spot right there. Okay, that's good. That'll work. So let's uh, bring her in. Nice and gentle. Car is behind us here as well. It's just gonna be careful, All right? We'll take this parking space next to this truck. This should be pretty good. If you guys are interested in seeing my video about my opinions on how to get the best out of helicopter, precision helicopter control, and um, what kind of control setup I have and recommend for that as well. So we just eke it a little bit more forward. I'm not just not quite happy. I just wanna don't wanna block off other road users behind us, you know. I wanna get it kinda nice and close. Okay, that's pretty good right there, I'd say. Oh yeah, that's that's it's acceptable. It's acceptable, I think. Let's just check that out. Where are we? Yeah, see, I think I could have pulled forward a little bit more. I really did. I, d I didn't want to block people off behind us, you know. There is enough space to pass, I think. 
for a couple of cars, I would be pretty careful with that, you know, especially with the rotor blade, uh, with the um, tail rotor, but, uh, but it's pretty good. I don't know why there's a police car there with the lights on, uh, not sure. But uh, if you guys are interested in checking out that video about uh, helicopter precision controls, what I what I recommend, um, you know, to get the most out of it, because it, it can be a little tricky, you know, hovering the Huey and trying to place it precisely, then uh, please make sure to check out the video, which I'll link uh, below, and also uh, hopefully you'll see a little pop-up at the top right-hand corner of your screen. And uh, here's the little grocery store that we've been flying to, and uh, as you can see, it's just it's just crazy how how detailed that is. I mean, isn't that insane? Isn't that insane? Look at this. It's just crazy good. Um, so the Mariana Silence map, I mean, it, it's just fantastic for flying level. Absolutely so badass. Um, not very useful for many other things, but for flying low level in the helicopter, that's the way to go. I just wish we had some more utility helicopters in the game and not just, you know... The, I mean, the Apache is cool and all, but, you know, we just can we please get like a... I know the BO-105 is getting, getting done, and I'm sure I'll be flying that low level, uh, crazy low level... Um, between the trees from that video, you know, from 15 years ago, however long ago it was. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen it. I've seen it when I was a kid, and I've been dying to replicate something like that. As you can see, the Huey, it's just a little cumbersome. It's just not as maneuverable. It doesn't quite do it quite as well. Uh, but one day, when the B0105 comes out, I'll be doing that, and that'll be freaking amazing. Anyway, uh, we'll pretend that we got our milk. And uh, let's just jump back in and uh, head back home for our little uh, rooftop landing. Get out of here. I do love flying the Huey, honestly. I do believe this is probably some of the most fun flying you can have in DCS. Seriously, just trust me, guys. Fighter jets are cool and all, but... All this hand-eye coordination with the... You know, that you get in a helicopter, it's just next level. Especially when you can fly low level. just love skimming the trees in this thing. It's so much fun. So much fun. Some swamps here. Looks like it's actually pretty good for some fishing. Um, don't know what kind of prehistoric fish they have here in the Mariana Silence map, but I doubt it's full of pike and perch. Oh yeah, look at this. Whee! This is too good. This is just too good. Love this little swampy, swampy section. Once I have the B0105 in my hands, oh my god, this will be so much fun, this map. It's just the Huey, just, you know, it takes it like 10 hours to roll 30 degrees to the left and to the right, you know, that's the only, that's the only problem, that's the only downside of this amazing helicopter, otherwise. I would love to have a Huey in real life, of course. Although, I think I would choose an MD500. Uh, right, let's come in for a little recovery back of the house, shall we? Alright, that was a little aggressive. No need for that. No need for that. <clears throat> right, here's our house. Gonna make a nice smooth touchdown on the neighbor's house, hopefully. Nice confined landing zone, so pretty tricky. I'll leave the mission file for the uh, Patreon supporters, just in case you guys are interested in flying this yourself, of course. Because um, I know I always get asked where this is and all that stuff, and you know, you fly it yourself. Yep, there you can. If you're um, if you're kind enough to contribute, become a Patreon supporter. I will be putting out all my mission files, so feel free to enjoy them as much as you want. Right, uh, this is kind of a tricky one. So better concentrate on this one. So in VR, this is a lot easier, a lot easier, just with the depth perception and stuff. now. That was a little messy. It's a little messy. Didn't didn't like that one. Didn't like that one. It was okay. It was okay. Wasn't wasn't the best. Wasn't my best landing. But um but anyway, I think we oh man, look at that. We we were pretty tight on that. Pretty tight, I'm not gonna lie. That's uh, definitely one of the messiest landings I've done on this rooftop. Um but yeah. Anyway. 
So that's a little milk run complete. And uh, seriously, guys, if you haven't tried it, trust me. The Huey and the Marianne Silence map is freaking amazing. Now, if you guys have any more cool ideas about what I could do with this helicopter on this map, whether it be, you know, anything like following a car, you know, pretending that we're, you know, like the sheriff or whatever, or a police helicopter, or, um, you know, some other missions, perhaps doing some uh, cargo, you know, sling loading and whatever between, you know, A and B or whatever could be pretty exciting, you know, I'm all for it. So just comment down below if you have any ideas. And if you think there's anything literally more fun just in terms of flying, you know, I don't mean in terms of combat, I mean in terms of just like hand stick, hand eye coordination, and uh, hand stick, what did I say hand stick? Hold us. Let's call it um, stick and throttle. Stick throttle rudder. You know, that kind of stuff. This is the way to go. This is the most fun, in my opinion, from anything I've done. Flying low level in fighter jets is cool too sometimes, but uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't think it comes close to this personally. So, if you think there's something that's more fun, please let me know. I shall be uh, very keen to check it out and uh, try it out myself. So, hopefully, um, you guys have enjoyed this little video. A little bit of unusual one. I know normally I go on about doing all super ultra, super super duper realistic scenarios and missions, and I know a lot of you guys always get a little bored and don't understand all the little details, whatever. So. Uh, sometimes I kind of like doing something like this, you know, just for a little bit of a bit of fun. Um, and if you've enjoyed it, then please make sure to smash the living daylight out of the like button, subscribe for future videos, and hopefully I shall catch you in the next one. Adios!